Hi there and welcome to my channel. This is Jo Marie Domino and Happy New Year. I know I'm a little bit late. I had a cold. I want to thank all of my followers for the well wishes, but now I'm fine and I'm ready to do my first video of beautiful napkins from Vippies Designs, www.vippies.com. I'm also going to give you some inspiration and you know what that means. I'm going to have a couple projects. One of them is going to be bookmarks and another is I'm going to use the wood slices again. Now I love showing you napkins and giving you inspiration. If you like this and you should love it, subscribe to my YouTube channel, Decoupage DIY with Jo Marie Domino. Give me a thumbs up, drop a comment and don't forget you can connect with me on my Facebook page. Okay, enough jibber jabber let's get started first up is this beautiful watercolor bunny all four panels are printed now this one covered with little doggies and they have their bunny ears on ready for easter here's another rabbit i would call this kind of boho with all the flowers all four panels are printed i love this with the red background and the white flowers and you know what makes it even better the print goes all the way across nothing is cut off speaking of beautiful floral look at this daffodils it goes all the way across nothing is cut off look at all the different colors so pretty all right another floral and now we're getting into the longer size ones this is hydrangeas and when you open it three panels go together to form one picture and look at the cute little bees here's another floral i have to say this is one of my favorites i doubt that this is going to last look at that print goes all the way across nothing is cut off another beautiful bunny and this is designed by spode so pretty and all six panels are printed Another bunny, this is a cutie. Look at this little um, floral headband. <laughs> and all six panels are printed. Um, another bunny napkin, a baby bunny and a mommy napkin. Um, so cute, mommy baby bunny napkin. Okay, I think I got it. All six panels are printed. Now, another bunny napkin. I love this. It's like a pencil sketch with the green. I love the contrast and all six panels are printed a beautiful floral again kind of a boho look and when you open it up these tulips you're gonna see it makes like one row of flowers going all the way across the three panels i love that again i think it has that boho feeling to it all right, we do have from Vippy's Designs some St. Patrick's Day ones. Um, this is one of the first ones. They have more. This one goes all the way across. Nothing is cut off. Here's another one with the little gnome. Happy St. Patrick's Day. All four panels are printed. This one's really, really cute with the Happy St. Patrick's Day. All the little images. All four panels are printed. Look at that. Loads of luck with the pickup chalk and all the shamrocks and on this one you have two panels that are printed okay we're going to go back to some more florals this one is beautiful so soft it's like a meadow and when you open it again nothing is cut off the print goes all the way across now here's a huge rose takes up the whole panel of the napkin it's so pretty all four panels are printed some more roses there's some small some buds and some that are opened pretty roses all four panels are printed okay another tulip one again with that boho look this is a smaller version same thing nothing is cut off the whole picture goes across two panels so pretty okay we've got more roses these are beautiful they look realistic i really like this and all four panels are printed wow i have so many ideas running through my mind this is actually a plate with some flowers on it. All four panels are printed. Okay, if you're looking for tulips, I recommend this one. Again, the print goes all the way across. Nothing is cut off. Again, it just takes up the entire napkin. Beautiful lamb. It kind of reminds me of those Easter butter they used to make. But anyway, it's so cute. All four panels are printed. Another beautiful floral um, has lavender in it, a beautiful wreath, and it's got that wood grain background. Another beautiful leaf that looks like pansies to me. And all four panels, yes, all four panels are printed. Okay, 
Now we are on to our set, and I have a special announcement I want to make. And don't forget, I have my project coming up too. Okay, so we're going to start with these three little gnomes, and you're going to get a pair of those. Very cute. Another one you're going to get a pair or a set of two are this beautiful bunny, and they look very real. Again, back with the tulips, I mean the daffodils. Again, this one is a larger size, and believe it or not, Vippies has given you two of them. Okay, another bunny with the planking in the back. I have a video coming up where I'm going to be using this, and you're going to get two. Okay, more lavender. Wow, you guys really love lavender. So Vippies is bringing a lot in. Okay, so you're going to get two, and let me open it up for you because all four panels are printed. The next one is very elegant. It has a black background with these huge white flowers, and of course, you're going to get two. And let's open it up to see. Yes, print goes all the way across. So all four panels are printed. Okay, are you ready for the announcement? Vippy's Designs has told me to share with you. They are reducing the cost of the sets of two. They love their crafters so much. I love that they're doing this. www.vippies.com. Now onto my bonus projects. And I have a wood slice here. And I'm going to give you two tips. We're going to make this into kind of an ornament. You want to brush it off with a rag and get any of the loose bark off as well. Here's tip number two. Actually, I have three tips. You want to put Mod Podge, and you see I'm putting a little bit in the spot. I do that because I don't want to put my brush into a bottle of Mod Podge, and then all of that little pieces of bark is going to get in there. Anyway, so we're going to go around and we're going to seal all of the bark. It's not going to fall off with the Mod Podge, okay? And remember, Having a little separate spot to put your brush in is really going to keep all those little pieces of the bark from going into your, you know, your main bottle of Mod Podge. Okay, so let's put that off to dry. Now we're on to tip number two. This is very important because you want to know what the top of the wood slice is, and that's a little eye hook. And these happen to be pre-drilled. I love these. I put the link below, and you just want to get that eye hook in there. I'm using a plier. Now you know what the top is and you'll be able to get the image on nice and straight. Okay, next I'm going to put a coat of paint on. This is white paint. I'm actually putting kind of a thick coat on. I use Rust-Oleum's chalky paint. This is called linen white. It gives really good coverage without being too thick. Okay, now what I've done with that, we're going to let that dry. This is the napkin that I chose. How cute are those little gnomes? Now, I'm only going to be using that one guy sitting there with his pot of gold. So we're going to cut away that panel. And then, of course, I'm going to be able to save all the rest of those napkin pieces and those three panels for another project. Okay, we only use the top ply when we're decoupaging. So we just want to remove those bottom two that are not printed. And I'm using a little bit of Mod Podge, or actually a lot of Mod Podge between my fingers, but it does separate the napkins. Now I'm going to be using my water brush. It has a tube of water in it and the water feeds through the brush. Now I could do a soft deckled edge by going around with the water. I'm softening the napkin and it makes it very, very easy to tear. As you can see as I go around. And you know what? I got something new. This is a silicone pad. It's got all those little spaces on top. I'm going to experiment and play with it a little bit. And then I'm going to tell you how I like it. All right, I found a lot of other uses. That's why I'm telling you. Uh, I just want to make sure if I, I like it before I tell you about it. Okay, so now I'm going to put the little gnome on there. And this is the gnome, again, with the pot of gold. All right, there's the eye hook. So we know that's where the top is. And we're just going to try to get an idea of where we want him. Now we're going to put on Mod Podge. Now, when I put the Mod Podge on this time, I'm not going to put it just where the gnome is going to be. I'm actually going over the entire wood slice because my friend Leslie says that these wood slices tend to crack. And what happens is the Mod Podge keeps it from doing that. So just cover the entire um wood slice uh, with the Mod Podge. I <laughs> got it out. Okay, I'm smoothing them down with a piece of saran wrap. All right, let's take a look. Oh, he looks really, really good. 
Okay, we're gonna let that dry, and then we're gonna go on to adding a little color around him, and I'm using a Memento stamp pad in bamboo leaves. I'm going to take one of my smaller sponge pouncers, I love them, I'm just pouncing it on top of the stamp pad, and I'm just going around the gnome, and I can add more if I want. See, look how pretty that is. If I don't think it's dark enough, again, I can just keep tapping into the stamp pad until I think I have the right amount of color. And this is coming along very, very nicely. Let's take a look. Oh, I love that. Once it's dry, I'm going to add a little border around this gnome in orange. Now, I just told you about this silicone pad that I got. This is one of the things I love about it is I have all these little spaces on top that I can put some of my paints in. It's very easy to clean, just so you know, I'm finding a lot of good uses. So I'm taking my orange paint and I'm going around the wood slice, not being particularly careful, but I'm making a nice orange frame along the gnome, around the gnome, okay. Very, very pretty, let's let it dry. I decided this leprechaun does not have enough gold. Um, he needs gold coming out of that pot of gold. He just needs more. So I found a piece of tan cardstock and a quarter inch hole punch, and I just made a whole bunch of little circles. Then I took some tacky glue, and that's what I used to adhere these little circles, um, also known as extra gold coming out of his pot of gold and I just kind of stuck them down like that. I took the tacky glue and I just put a little dot of it here and there and used my tweezers and put them all over um, and around and underneath this leprechaun with all his gold just falling out all over the place. All right, I let that dry. Now, as much as I love how that looks, I thought I needed a little bit of glitter on top of these little circles because I really want them to look like coins. And always remember to test your glitter on a little piece of scrap paper or something to make sure it doesn't come out in one big lump. All right, so I went around and I put some of the glitter all on those little circles. Now that's a pot of gold. Well, that wasn't quite enough glitter for me, so I decided I wanted to add some more green glitters. This glitter glue, remember to test it so it doesn't come out in one big lump. I can't stand when that happens. Okay, so I'm gonna take this green glitter and I'm going over that shamrock inside of his hat. And I just put little dots around it just to give it some more glitz. And I really like how this is coming out. What do you think? I hold it up. Oh, I like that. Okay, as much as I like how that looks. I have to add even more glitter. This is Cream Coat's Glitter Explosion. I started using this around Christmas and I am in love. In fact, I got it in other colors too. So I'm just using this crafting knife and I'm going along the edge. I'm going a little bit on the side and on top of the orange. Look at all that glitter. I just love it. And you know, my crafting friends, you guys are really getting me into using more glitter. I've never used to use this much glitter, but boy, it really adds a lot to the projects. Okay, I'm going to go all the way around with that cream coat glitter explosion. Okay, let's take a look at the completed wood slice with that leprechaun. And now we're on to project number two. This is going to be a bookmark. It's a wooden bookmark. I get them from Vippies Designs, www.vippies.com. Here's what I did. And remember, you can do bookmarks on two sides. I'm gonna start out by giving this wood bookmark one coat of paint. I'm using white chalky paint from Rust-Oleum. I love it and I get a fairly nice container size and it lasts a really long time. All right, so again, we're only going to need one coat and then I'm going to put that off to dry. On to the next step where I'm going to be adding Mod Podge on top. There's a size you can buy the little ones at the Dollar Tree. I buy big containers, why? Because I love to decoupage. And then I just put them into smaller containers like that. So I'm going to cover the entire front of the bookmark, make sure I cover the entire surface. Then I'm going to let it dry. Now on to coat number two, and the same thing, I'm gonna apply it the same way. And you might be wondering, well, why are you putting a second coat on and why are you gonna let it dry? Well, because I'm going to be using my favorite method, the iron-on method. All right, let's let that dry. Here's a napkin I picked out. I just showed you this napkin. I got it from Vippy's Designs. 
And there's my iron, my Cricut iron. It's hot and ready to go. All right, so we're gonna take the napkin and I'm going to first remove, of course, the top ply. I'm gonna do it the same way with a little bit of Mod Podge up there in the corner and there we go. I'm gonna place it on top of the bookmark and it's a little bit bigger, but I'm going to trim the edges putting a piece of baking parchment and I'm running my iron down. And what's happening is the glue is melting and the napkin is adhering perfectly, perfectly to the wood. No wrinkles, looks beautiful. And I'm doing it on top of my silicone pad because I can do that. It's heat resistant. On to my next one where I chose a nautical napkin and believe it or not, one third fit almost perfectly on the bookmark. All right, piece of parchment paper, and I'm gonna run my hot craft iron, my Cricut iron up and down until that napkin is adhered perfectly. On to the next one, which is really beautiful daffodil napkin. And this little piece of the napkin has a butterfly on it too. Piece of baking parchment. And again, I'm adhering it with this cute craft iron that works excellent and nice and flat and adhered perfectly. My last one, I think this is one of my favorite napkins ever, is this adorable bunny. Same thing with the parchment paper, the glue melts and the little piece of napkin adheres perfectly. Now, I thought the top part um, was a little too much white space, so I added another piece of the napkin that had the flowers on it. And the same thing, I'm just gonna put that on using the iron-on method, making sure that it's well adhered. And let's take a look. That bunny is just so cute. Now I'm using my finger sander, which I love. Everybody should have one of these if you do a lot of decoupaging. I have the link for that below. And what I'm doing is a downward stroke along the edge of the bookmark. And what happens is all of that extra napkin that's hanging off comes off perfectly and gives you a nice clean edge. Well, I love this finger sander. And I'm going to do it to all of them. Actually, I love this napkin too. I think I picked out good napkins um, to do these bookmarks and this adorable bunny. And the same thing, removing all that extra. And there's all the bookmarks. Now I'm gonna finish them off with some edging and some tassels. Okay, there's my bookmarks. Now you say, Joan, I need some inspiration. So I took some of Vippy's napkins and I created this project for you. I took another napkin, which was this gnome leprechauns, and I did a wood slice as well. I love to give you inspirations. I want you to use your napkins. Hey, I have a little surprise for you. Vicky's Designs handed me a pile of napkins and they said, Joan, this is a sneak peek at what's going to be coming out next. I don't always do napkin hauls. A lot of times I just do projects um, on my YouTube channel. So make sure you go like and follow Vippy's Designs on their Facebook page. Like and follow my page too. And remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel. There they are.